JJ Hatton, as we're expecting, having a real dip through there, and he's got some support, the Irish flag, out as he battles this afternoon's stages. It's a complete rerun of the first four stages of the morning, which caused some drama. SS1, Mark Petter had his car cut out in four times, decided to turn around and take it straight back to service to fix it properly. Stage two, our last year's champ, not in the field for us, but in WRC2, stepping up with Scott Petter. He'd ripped the wheel off after a good, solid first stage, so that was a shame for all the Aussie fans out there. And stage three, second at the time, Tony Sutton in the Citroen doing an awesome job, hit a bank and then had some gear selection issues trying to get off that bank. So he was out for the day as well. Plenty of stories up and down the field. We will catch up with them after this afternoon stages on the final stage and see what's been happening. I didn't think I was going to start the rally on Thursday morning after the accident, so I'm just trying to do my best, you know, um, rather than focusing on focusing on the rally win more so, I'm just focusing on driving with a clear mind and uh, working well, I'm having an absolute ball now. I'm in the groove and the car's strong, so can't thank the boys enough. Molly, big day for you, tough one in actual fact. Eli had all the trouble yesterday and you had all the trouble today. Yeah, this morning um, we had some problems with the brakes and, and yeah, unfortunately lost quite a bit of time. And then, you know, we were hoping this afternoon to, to have a solid afternoon and try and get back a bit of time and, and we couldn't do it. I don't know, um, you know, everything felt all right inside the car and like that stage we were pushing like hell and I don't know what it is, but I've got I've got no answer for it. Um, you said that yesterday in the power stage. You said everything's feeling as good as the rest of the year. The pace is just not quite there, is it? Yeah, I, I don't know whether it is a turbo versus normally aspirated thing, or I'm doing something wrong. I, I don't know, but because we, you know, we're, I'm trying. <laughs> not sure who this guy is. Uh, I can recognise you this time around, mate. <laughs> yeah, we're, we've got a dust-free cabin this time, so. Um, that part of the stage was good, um, but we lost brakes. Uh, started to cook the fluid probably about 15k in, so for the rest of the stage I had that in the back of my mind, pumping the brake pedal. Um, then there was something else going on. <laughs> so yeah, we were busy. An empty space there for 103. Sad for Peter Roberts. He won the power stage yesterday and was leading the four-wheel drives this morning. Been plenty of drama up and down the field for the four-wheel drives. They don't do the final stage here, so they miss SS8. Their final stage was seven. We've come to the service park to catch up with all the teams. We're doing all right. The car's going well. We're making small little gains. We're trying different things. We tried um, dropping the rear end slightly, but that just created a whole heap of push understeer, so that didn't work. So. Now we're going to ring, bring the rear end back up and, and take some more high speed out of the front just to try and get it to turn in a bit better. It's all uh, squeaky clean and all straightened in one piece, so which is a good thing, but uh, look, it was faultless, so the car was fantastic. Um, took a little bit getting used to the tight, twisty stuffs in the big car. Uh, not quite suited to us, but uh, we were just hanging in there. We're, I think, about a quarter of a second off a, a K off Justin. Um, but yeah, look, still a couple of days to go and tomorrow's the big open wide stuff, so hopefully we can really get the, uh, the big Evo 10 unwind. She's a good bus, this one, and we pushed hard today, destroyed all our tyres. <laughs> but yeah, really happy with the result. Look, you had good pace, mixing it with some of the regulars there, and like you said, probably the most solid day we've had for a long time from you. Yeah, for sure, yeah. No, we were just wrapped to be up with them, let alone beating them on a couple of stages. So yeah, just, yeah, over the moon.